How's it going, everybody? Chris Cart's back through the mail on Monday, Fort Myers, Florida. Our first of five returns for you today. Actually, I think I only got four this week. So four returns today. Let's see who was in return number one. Feels like a few cards in here. We got some vintage. We got Ike DeLock. All right. Ike DeLock, 11-year career. Spent mostly with Boston. Had a cup of coffee with the Orioles at the end of his career, trying to recover from a knee injury, which eventually took him out of his playing days. Look at all those cards. Nicely signed. 52 Bowman. How about that? 91 years young. Still signing strong. His best year was 1959. He went 11-6 with a 2.95 ERA. Some really good seasons there for Boston. Good first return here on Through the Mail Monday. Let's move on to return number two. All right, Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, our second return. Let's see who we've got here. And I I feel the index cards over on this end, and I'm just going to open it this way. Just better safe than sorry. Don't want to rip up anything that might be inside. It takes a little bit longer, but you got to do what you got to do. Let's see here. We've got an index card. Blank on one side. Looks like a 90s card there. Let's clean some of this up a little bit. And we have Ruben Amaro Jr. All right. Ruben Amaro, eight-year big league career. Five of those with the Phillies, who he later went on to become a broadcaster, a general manager, coach. He coached for the Mets in 2018. He's done everything. Signed these cards very nicely. and looks like a thin blue Sharpie. He's even acted. He was on the Goldbergs, uh, the 80s era sitcom playing his father, Ruben Amaro Sr., who was also a major league player and a coach. Got the rookies signed. I like that Don Russ set from back in the day. It's always fun getting those signs. And, of course, 92 tops in there. Very nice. There is, is his current address. I think he's getting some buzz for returning as a GM this year. We'll see if anyone hires him after the uh, playoffs are over with. But there you guys go, Ruben Amaro Jr. Let's move on to return number three. All right. Portland, Oregon, my neck of the woods, our third return of this Through the Mail Monday. That's tear right there. And see, uh, looks like that was a fairly safe place to tear. And we've got another vintage. we got Dan Dobick. 1960 rookie star card. You guys know I love to get those, including the sporting good card. Look at that. Sporting news. Two of my favorite cards to get signed. We got the original wood tops. Very nice return from Dan. He only played three years in the bigs. 59, 60, and 61 with the Senators. He played with the Senators in their final year in Washington in 1960 before they moved to the Twin Cities. So he was uh, the last of the Senators, and he was the first of the Twins. In fact, his only full season came with the Senators in their final year in 1960. He went on to retire after the 63 season after he was... In the minors for a couple years, kicking around. Very nice return from him. Yamhill Street in Portland. I know where that is. I'm sure I've driven by his home many times. That's one of those tiny little homes in Portland that's just shoved into the middle of the city. Kind of on the outskirts. Tight roads. Parking on both sides of the street. Just a just a nightmare to drive through. But that's where he's at, I do believe. Awesome return from Mr. Dobick. And let's move on to our final return of this Through the Mail Monday. All right, boys and girls, looks like we got one from North Texas, Texas. Our final return of the day. It's already ripped open. How convenient. Thank you, USPS. And we've got Don Werner. All right, Don Werner, two-time World Series champion with the red. Sign the index card. Sign the Donruss card right here. Don Warner played from 75 to 82, seven years, five of those with the Reds, two of those with the Rangers. He pretty much backed up Johnny Bench. In fact, he caught the only no-hitter thrown by Tom Seaver, Tom Terrific. And there you go. Caught no-hitter, 6 16 78. Six months before I was born, basically. And then Don Warner, two-time World Series champ, 70, 75, 76 on a signature card, a Cincinnati Red signature card, which I had laying around, and I didn't know when to use it, and I thought this would be a great time to get it signed, and that looks fantastic. Nice return from Don Warner. Very, uh, very nice that he uh, went above and beyond and uh, 
filled my request for the inscriptions and the signatures on those signature cards. Super cool. He went on to coach in the Padres organization for seven years after his playing career was over with. He was a bullpen catcher and um, for the bigs, and he was uh, in the in the minors with the Orioles as well. So he kicked around and had a lot of coaching jobs after his playing days were over. So he's been in baseball for an awfully long time. And there you see my requests for the inscriptions there. 61678. Like I said, caught Tom Seaver's only no hitter. Really cool. Too bad I didn't come with the Mets, but I'm glad I got to see the Mets only no hitter with uh with Johan, you know, probably what more than 10 years ago now. So there you guys go. The full array of returns from this weeks through the mail monday and if you notice bob zupsix down there in the corner i edited out his entire return because uh it didn't it didn't film i had it off it wasn't worth it but there's bob zupsix <laughs> he's in the bottom left he ended up on the cutting room floor for technical reasons everyone also turned out very nice ruben amaro uh with a dying sharpie on one of those the rookies cards that's fine thankfully i had two of them i think i told him to keep the extras but you know they don't keep the extras. That's fine. They sign them and send them back. So there you guys go. Awesome returns. Some vintage. Some uh, some junk wax there as well as a couple ladies cards as well. So nice array of returns in this week's Through the Mail Monday. Let me know what you guys thought down below in the comments. And of course, hit that subscribe button. I do this every single week. Would love to have you along for the ride. Hit that like button as well. Would appreciate it. Thanks guys for watching as always. This was, uh, this was a fun little video to make. Hopefully I get a few more returns for next week. Get five or six. That'd be nice. I had five for today, but uh, Zupsik didn't work out. So I think I, I think I have Zupsik on a previous video. If you want his information, uh, 90, 99. I don't know. I've got him before. I want to get that gold card signed. I kind of I kind of chased those uh, those old nineties uh, tops gold cards. So got that signed from him as well. And there you guys go. Awesome returns. Thanks all these guys for signing. And um, yeah, hope you guys have a great rest of your week. See ya.